The Australian landscape can be pretty barren, but out there, if you know where to look, is a lot of food, and the Aborigines were able to find it. There were kangaroos that gave them meat, there were things like wichity grubs, good source of protein, there was a lot of vegetable matter, and if you were lucky, you found fruits in season, or things like beehives that would give you honey, or honey ants that would provide you with something sweet. Because, as you probably know, if you've been without something sweet for a long time, you rather want it. But up in these gum trees around was another source of sweetness, and it was made by an insect. Let me show you what I mean. Have a look at these leaves closely, and you'll see sitting on them are funny little white furry scales. I'll pull a leaf off, and we'll have a look at that more closely. Here we go. That's the white scale there. And if I just tease it up a bit, you might be able to see the animal that made it. There we go. Tiny little yellow thing there. It's actually a form of bug, and bugs get their meals, by and large, by putting a little injection tube into the leaf, and instead of pushing things in, they take sap out. So this little creature's been sucking sap from the gum tree for ages, and it can't use everything that it gets. It has to push it out as a sort of excretion. And the excretion contains wax, which the leaf is coated with, and sap products. And that's what they are. They're this white scale, the lerp scale. Now that is full of wax and sugar and it tastes like sweet wax. Now, picking them off the leaves one by one like that would be a painstaking business. But these things in time fall off the tree, especially with a bit of wind and rain, and they're often lying underneath the tree like snow. And collecting them like that is no problem at all. You can end up with a handful. And they were eaten just as was, or they were ground up in water to make a sweet drink, and that could be drunk. Well, those scales also repay interest of another kind. Let's haul some more off and see what I mean. Now, if you examine this scale carefully, you'll see that it's got distinctive patterns in it. This one's sort of rough and hairy, and it's from those patterns that scientists can identify the lerp that made it, and there are dozens of different kinds. These things make rather a mess of the tree. You can see they've chewed up the leaf quite a bit, and they're the despair of many gardeners. But if you examine those scales under a microscope or a magnifying glass, you'll see they really are things of considerable beauty.